Thank you, Brian. It's nice to meet you all. It's great seeing so many people here in this venue. And thanks again to all organizers and sponsors. Uh, my name is Guillaume Desforges. Uh, I'm a Twigger. I work at Twig. Um, and I've been using Nix for two, three years, something like that. So um, yeah. Uh, so I don't know about you, but I've had plenty of occurrences where I'd be with friends. Um, they work in tech, but they are not necessarily software engineers. Um, maybe we had a like a nice ice cold beer in our hands. Uh, we were just chatting as usual, like friends do. And suddenly, for absolutely no reason, I ended up talking about Nix to them. So I've had two sorts of reaction to that. So some of them just told me to drink my beer and shut up. Fair, fair. And the other looked at me and just like I had summoned some demon or said some unholy words like, Monads. So it got me thinking, why? Why do we talk about Nix? Why did I talk about Nix to them? So there are other things in life to talk about, right? Like, I don't know, surfing, going out on a walk in the beautiful forest. I don't know. So it's really a choice on my part, right? Um, and of course, by friends, I meet people who don't know about Nix. It's cheating otherwise. So this question is my starting point. Why would we talk about Nix without friends? So here's my theory. It's because we use Nix. But we don't just use Nix. We love it. Though sometimes I spend my whole day trying to understand why my derivation won't build, and I end up cursing the day I have met Nix OS because the pain won't go away. Please help. We love Nix unconditionally. And it's just that. We are passionate. We're passionate people. And passionate people want to share. We want to share this passion. And this statement is supported by statistical evidence. We're all human here. And human beings need connection with other human beings. As such, we, think we seek for connection because it's for our own well-being, right? We're all here for this purpose. So we need connection. So talking is not really the purpose here. The real goal is co to connect. And this is what it means to belong. This is why we have friends in the first place. And also, again, this thing happening here. Um, but more generally, this is what it means to build a community. We want to grow our community. Said otherwise, I want people to care. I have problems. i using stuff. I don't know. I want them to care. So the hard part is, how do we do that? So for starters, obviously, I'm going to start with what not to do. Repent, stateful systems. This Nixos bootloader shall save you. So of course, we, all, we know that being a fanatic does not help. This is not what we do. Uh, a much more common case would be this one. Oh, have you ever heard of, of Nix? Uh, oh, Nix is a functional language, which is super cool. It's declarative, it's immutable. Oh, you can use overlays on your packages. And, um, and with Flex, you can compose different packages repository together. And there's this and there's that. It is a revolution. In my experience, it doesn't work. So what's the problem here? We tend to focus on the specifics, the technical details, because this is what Nix makes, me, uh, this is what makes Nix unique. Yes, we're happy to have the Nix uh, language instead of YAML. Yes, I'm working with Kubernetes right now. It's not a pleasure. Yes, we having the realization of derivations in a read-only Nix store is great. Solves many problem with crypt cryptographic hashes. Great. But our goal here in my talk is to make people care about it. So if we're lucky enough, it might work. But we have much more powerful tool. We have stories. Again, we are human. Humans are programmed to love stories. And this is exactly how I started this talk, remember, telling you about my friends and stuff. So when we talk about Nix, we have to think about it like telling a story. So here are a few ideas. 
the day I met Nix. I was walking in the bar like that. The day my job was saved. I can relate to this one. My girlfriend and I met thanks to Nix. <laughs> Not today, apparently. I found inner peace. Someone in this room gave it to me. And last but not least, Nix helped me become a millionaire. So if you can tell this one, uh, I want to be in the room and to hear the story as well. So it's really just that. Be relatable. Be creative. You need to pike curiosity. You need people to genuinely care. And when they start to ask the first technical question about Nix, you know, you can tell that Nix is a functional language for sandbox reposable builds, and you can use a flag to share an overlay to extend or override the variation. It's okay because there is a hatchet in the them. Well, maybe we still need to work on this one. Thanks for your attention. <laughs>